what's up everybody welcome back to the channel it's colors it feels so weird saying that because i haven't said it in like three weeks it feels like three weeks or if it's not it's about three weeks i feel like yeah i thought i should pop right in and kind of tell you what's been going on just very briefly um before i start posting videos again before i really get into what i'm gonna say i am gonna apologize for the way that i look I'm not gonna get better right now because i'm actually currently on bed rest which i will go more into later but if you remember from my 17th week uh bump day i was telling everyone that i was having a lot of pain and that pain has gotten worse and because of that pain, I have been put on bed rest. So that is currently what's going on. So there's no need to look my best, so to speak, and be film ready because this is the way life is right now until further notice. But but I thought instead of explaining like, okay, what's been happening in the last two weeks that I just basically post some of the pre-recorded videos like my um, my Brenda Center tour and then my 20 week anatomy scan and bits and pieces of my gender reveal which i didn't get a lot of footage of unfortunately because i have been so stressed out i have been going through a lot this last couple weeks you're gonna understand more later but i have been very stressed out because a lot of the stuff that i was doing i was doing while i was in pain as well as you know i did a lot of diys myself and i put probably more work on me than i should have uh, but not realizing that my issues was a little bit deeper so I had all that going on so I thought I should post that but yeah I will be posting the gender reveal video I don't know how I'm going to organize that because like I said I didn't get a lot of footage of that because about time the gender reveal came around I just wasn't in the mood and moving forward if i ever have a function or even for my baby shower i will um hire <laughs> or get somebody to to film it for me because if this situation of the gender reveal was this stressful i only can imagine what the baby shower is going to be so i'm just basically making this video to tell you that i'm here i'm alive this is kind of an overview of what's going on, but I will be posting the pre-recorded videos and then kind of coming back to you. So I don't know how many videos before we come back to this point, but we will get to this point, which is present time. You know, bear with me and we will get back to uh, how things was but uh like i said i am currently on bed rest so it will not be coming out like water you know i don't know about the whole pregnancy bump dates if they're going to be consistently friday and stuff like that i just really don't know but i'm gonna do my best to make sure i still film those things and put them out when i can right now i'm more concerned about my health more than making sure that i'm kicking out content but I still don't want to leave you guys hanging. Sorry if my lips chap chap. <laughs> I am nowhere near some chapstick. And I don't want to leave you guys hanging. Because you guys have supported me so much up until this point. And you guys have become like a second family to me. So I do want to keep you guys informed and in the know. This is kind of what my bed rest situation is looking like. I have my... Uh, computer set up over here I was kind of editing a version of what I'm recording now but uh, it didn't work out so I had to re-record that thing my room is dirty you guys but I like I said there's really nothing to impress right now but yeah I have my computer set up right here next to the bed but if you see over here I have a little station <laughs> and it may look crazy like why am i showing you this but this is like real life like when you're pregnant especially like when you're on bed rest like you don't have time for the shits like you don't have time to be like trying to be all clean and cute and all this whatever so i'm just being real and if you talk about me whatever but this is my purifier and if you hear a noise that's what that is so this is the purifier it giving me clean air because for some reason this is a big reason why I don't sleep in my bedroom a lot because the ventilation in my room is really bad it's 
so you can probably hear the stuff in this in my nose. So I have that as well as my purifier back there, but it ran out of water, so. Yeah, it's only a little bit of milk in there, you guys, so don't worry that I'm just sitting out milk. I literally just took that out of this, which is, I got this tip from another person's video who was on bed rest for like 16 weeks, like until she delivered her baby. And she said that she would have her husband put food and stuff in a cooler next to her bed so that she can get up as little as possible. Because in the last couple days, I've been worried about consistently getting up out of my bed to eat. So I decided to just get up one good time and get my life organized. So I did bring the computer in here. I probably should have, but I brought the computer in here. I put, um, I don't know if you can see, but I put the Amazon Fire Stick in here. I'm about to catch up on The Walking Dead because I am like a season and a half behind. So I was going to catch up on that. My friend had bought me the back warmers for my back. They probably really should be over here, but whatever. So I decided to make a little cooler of just snack so I love cereal and as you can see I got just milk and water bottles because this cooler isn't big and cereal is one of the main things I eat even though I got that right there there's really nothing in it so once I poured that milk into these uh, it was only a little bit left so I decided to eat some cereal the cereal I like is actually over here <laughs> It's Cinnamon Toast Crunch. That's what I just ate. One of the boxes are empty and there's a trash can right over there that I'm probably gonna just dump this in, but the trash can is too small for the boxes to fit in, so I don't know. I I'm debating if I just wanna wait till my husband get home or not to toss that away. But anyway, this is my cooler. I have that. I have some pickles in a bag. I have apples. Green, Granny Smith apples back here and this and just this juice and that's it so I figured that between the pickles the apples the juice the cereal I should be fine at least Ooh, Jesus what I do I figured that would be good enough at least until my husband at home and my auntie came over yesterday to make me something to eat. Probably when she comes back over, um, I can get some real food, so. It's very hard for me to be on bed rest because I just don't know how to ask for stuff. I don't know how to ask for help. And almost asking for somebody to fix me some food feels stupid to me. I'm trying to not ask, but I'm trying not to get up and do stuff, so I feel like this is the best bet, so if you are, put on bed rest during your pregnancy, I would highly suggest doing the same thing. I really wish I almost had a catheter, so I really have no reason to get up, but this is my little arsenal of situation, and I have a book over here too, so I'm thinking about starting to read books, but I am just on bed rest till further notice, so that is kind of an overview of what's going on, and I just want you guys to, you know, just, just be patient. It's it's been it's been tough. I am just getting to a decent place. I go back and forth between my emotions, but I am okay right now. So yeah, that's pretty much what's been going on. But I had to make shift a tripod. If you see that, that's just tissue trying to, you know, whatever. I think that's just everything I'm gonna say in this video. You know, if you have any questions or just want to chit chat, just you can go ahead and comment down below of whatever video I post, and we can just kind of get back into that communication realm. I think that's enough talking for now because I'm getting really winded. If you can't tell, but thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Free black young, free young, Lady Woods and Mondays, RIP your mom.